Ugh, damn it. What is happening everybody and welcome back to Jelly to Jacked in 20 weeks. So, today's topic, macros and supplements. I'm going to throw it in there, two in one, because it's going to be a shortish video anyway. Uh, before we get going, look what the wife bought me the other day. So she was out shopping, she was like, do you need anything? I was like, nah, doesn't bother me. She ended up buying me these. Check them out. Lovely, nine of them, can't wait. Unfortunately, not the peanut butter flavor, the new one they had. Um, don't ask about the filing cabinet in the room. Uh, that's another story, that'll be gone anyway. So, let's get to it. Right then, it's, oh, that's better. Talk about my current calories. So, currently, I'm on 2,402 calories which is split up into protein, carbs and fat, obviously. So we have a set value of 50 grams of fat. And then this is where it gets a bit different. There's flexibility in the protein and the carbs. So protein goes anywhere from 160 to 200 and carbs can go from two about 287 up to 325, something like that. Um, you're probably thinking, why is there a fluctuation? Well, as long as I hit my fat, I have a minimum and a maximum target for either the protein or the carbs, uh, which is slightly different. Basically, it just gives you more flexibility. So say I only have the lower end of the protein, about 160, I therefore can go on the higher end of the carbs up to like 300. But pretty much what I've set myself doing for the past couple of weeks, uh, getting into it, um, is 200 protein and it's about 285 carbs, something along them lines. As long as I still hit my 50 grams fat and my total calorie intake is 2,402. So slightly different, uh, but it does give me a bit more flexibility depending on what happens with my lifestyle and everything else like that. Um, um, so yeah, that's good. Staying on their macros for, what are we on now? We're on week three now. Um, yeah, might as well give you an update on the weights. Um, so I've, ooh, where's my thing? Give me a second. Ha ha, found it. So, let's just get rid of this. So if you're an OG subscriber, you'll know probably about, it was about a year ago, I did one of these, which is every day, months written out. So I drop down my weight every single day. Yes, hold on. Um, every day, regardless, whether it's up, down, just wake up in the morning, roughly the same time every day, which is pretty much after the gym, try my best to evacuate my bowels, but sometimes it just doesn't happen, depending on the night before, how much when I finish my last meal, how much fluid I take the day before and everything else. Um, so I write down the weight um, and then over the week, work out exactly what the average is. So uh, I averaged 204.5 pounds um, on that. And uh, still need to update this. I don't know if you can see, but one of the biggest values was here. Started at 206. Uh, pounds on the Monday and then on the Sunday went down to 202.8 so about four pounds loss it said that over the week but on average that's a 204 so I'm going to take the 204 um, and there's a good bloody reason why um, wrong one this last week yeah last week I averaged 203.4 so pretty much just just over a pound, literally 1.1. Um, and that's what I averaged. I went from 202.6 all the way back up to 204. Strange. So that's why I don't get discouraged by weighing myself. I literally take the average because my weight fluctuates like anything. Um, it can start up there, 
and then through the week it literally just does that which is an absolute nightmare but everybody's different some can just do that great for you others can't um, I certainly can't mine just goes up and down like a yo-yo that's why I take an average reading and then that is my the week that is my average and then just as long as every week I'm chopping it by about coach one's about a pound to two pound per week um, so we're gonna finish off this week if I dropped another pound we may see about dropping the calories but we'll see about that anyway that's enough about the macros now we're gonna turn on to supplements so supplements as you probably know especially if you click in the corner you would have seen I've done a review of Bear Performance Nutrition which is there so currently I take IntraFlight every day throughout the workout with the creatine and depending how I'm feeling I will take the endo pump and if I need a bit of energy I will take flight so currently that is my go-to um, staple every day and then protein it is literally just bulk powders I only have two scoops of that a day um, so what's about about 45 grams of protein in total some rubbish like that um, and that's it that's all I have as supplements it's nice and basic the uh, IntraFlight is bloody good actually um, yeah so I've been on these bear performance for about uh, I'd say two and a half weeks and man they really do work and if you saw the other video I did a review about price comparison for the UK they are ex well this is the catch if you were managed to buy all of them in one hit every time you order it works out okay it's not massively exp it is it's not overly expensive as some products are but for the quality you've got of it it's really good as I said you would need to buy the whole range and get that shipped over to make the price work if you were to just buy I think their best selling I think is endo pump um, which is really good and flight is fucking good as a pre-workout as well um, buying them individually unfortunately just doesn't work out it's way too expensive on their own that's why if you can buy the whole range every time you order it does work out and it's good value especially for the quality you get protein wise well bulk powder is my protein whichever one you want to use um, personally I'll go for the one that tastes the best because if you can be having it every single day it's got to taste the best regardless of what it contains so I got chocolate flavor it's cheap, it's cheerful, it tastes pretty good, so I'm happy with that. And I mix it with, uh, I turn it into a smoothie and mix it with berries. So, there we are, it's a nice, quick, short. That is the macros I'm currently on. When they change, I will definitely let you know. Supplements, probably not gonna change. I'm just gonna stick with the basics, which is fine for now. So that's it. So, thanks for watching another episode of Jelly to Jacked. And we shall see you on the next episode which will actually be some workout footage. So that should be interesting. It's probably gonna be leg day, which is gonna be scary. You probably might see me cry now, actually on the channel. So yeah, not looking forward to that. We shall see you on the next one. And as always. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>